What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you're new here, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for finding the channel, however you did. But I have a quick one going over the Overbore Systems swivel mount that he just released not too long ago. Now, before we get into it, the firearm you see in today's video is safe and unloaded for the purpose of this YouTube video and we're in a safe environment. Sorry guys, I have to do that to keep my videos up here on YouTube, but with all that being said, full disclosure, I am not getting this stuff for free from Overboard. Don't think that I am, I just really like his products and I've been purchasing everything you see in today's video, that being the Aimpoint riser as well as the swivel mount we're gonna talk about uh, with my own money. Uh, he did ask me if I was going to make a video. I told him I would uh, just because I've been waiting so long to kind of get this light mount in, do a little bit of testing on it. Uh, and so far I have nothing but good things to say about it, but Past that, no money has exchanged hands except for mine to him for his products. Now, getting right into it, the overboard swivel mount, there is one complaint that I have with it, and I wanna get it out of the way first, and that is that the mounting footprint takes up one and a half M-lock slots. Now, for most, that's not gonna be an issue. The industry standard is kind of one M-lock slot for your light mount, uh, but the overbore unfortunately does take up one and a half. So if you have a small little sub gun like a Rattler, uh, you might have to plan accordingly and move some stuff around if you plan on getting something like this uh, or the swivel mount itself. But past that, I have no real complaints with this light mount. Uh, for me personally, it didn't really affect me it having a one and a half M-lock slot kind of mounting radius. Um, but I just thought it would be important to bring up for those of you interested in this mount. Now, hardware on this is gonna be kind of industry standard. You're gonna have, I believe, an eighth inch Allen to the uh, M-lock T-nuts to mount it to your rail, as well as some Torx headed screws up here to secure your light body to the mount itself, uh, as well as another Allen key here on the pivot uh, kind of mechanism to loosen it and tighten it. Now, one thing to be aware of before we get too far in this video, uh, when I first got this light mount, I was very disappointed in it because it was kind of floating my light out super far away from the rail. Uh, but Overboard did come out on Instagram and put up some content showing me uh, and all of his other customers that you can actually flip this top portion here uh, to get it to hug a little bit tighter to your pec. So after doing that, after taking this bolt out and flipping this top piece over, uh, I was extremely impressed. It made a huge difference on the adjustment on this light mount. So just know that you do have the ability to flip this top piece and kind of play with it and really fine tune that light to where you want it on your rail. Now moving up, Talking about this top piece again, it is going to be a Surefire kind of industry standard light mount footprint. So as most of you know, this is my Arasaka body. It went on perfect and I had no issues mounting it. Uh, the Surefire light mount or the Surefire body, excuse me, does have those little wings on the bottom. So just be aware of that if you're using a stock Surefire body. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any modification needed, but I have a feeling you probably don't have to do anything. It'll fit right on there perfectly. Now, for the guys running malls, like I said, this top piece does flip around, so you do get a little bit more kind of range of motion out of this uh, bottom section here, and you can kind of configure the light to fit around your mall a little bit better. But for the purpose of this video, uh, I am still using my PEC 15. As you can see here, you can get it very, very tight to the PEC as well as the rail. So if I flip this over here, hopefully you guys can see it. I'll try and splice some footage in uh, as I'm talking here so that you can kind of see how tight this light mount really gets. So as you can see here, it's almost touching the rail. I actually need to pivot this out just a little bit uh, because I find when I twist the head from white to IR or go to remove the batteries, uh, there's just enough flex in the entire system, uh, just stacking tolerances and stuff of that nature. There's just enough flex in the actual mount itself and the light body that I can actually get the head to touch the rail. So just need to tweak it out just a little bit, fine tune it. But moving past that, I have put about 500 rounds through the rifle with this light mount. I torqued everything to spec, and as you can see here, I witness marked everything except for this screw just simply because I forgot it, but I've had absolutely no issues, which is what I've pretty much come to expect with the Overboard products. Not trying to sound like a shill for him, but the only other issue that I've ever had with one of his products was the original hardware that came on his mounts uh, when he first produced them. I believe it was a T10 Torx bit. It was a little bit too fine and I 
actually ended up stripping out the heads on those bolts, just being a big dumb idiot and over torquing my screws just a little bit. But being the good man he is, he did send me some free replacement hardware for my mounts uh, to the updated style. And he did that for all of his customers. So huge shout out there. Uh, the new hardware on these mounts is an A plus in my book and especially because he did it no questions asked and sent it out to everybody and or you just had to hit him up and he'd send it out to you for free. Uh, seriously guys, if you have one of these mounts and you don't have the updated hardware, seriously hit him up, get the new hardware, you will be uh, much better off. But getting back to the light mount and everything, like I said guys, same kind of quality you come to expect with Overbore Systems and his products. Uh, if I do have any issues for whatever reason, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But as of now, uh, in the last couple months that I've had it, zero issues, couple hundred rounds through the rifle, and it's running strong. But with all that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you like it. Uh, I did forget to mention it is, I believe, $85. I hope I mentioned that. Maybe I didn't. But it is somewhat expensive. But... It's a quality piece of kit, guys. It's a small local business, so just keep that in mind when you purchase his products. He does not have the budget that Unity Tactical and Surefire and L3 and all these huge companies have, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and he is really good with warranty and stuff, so if you do ever break something for whatever reason, I have no doubt in my mind he will replace it and make it very, very fair to you. But with all that being said, guys, I'm rambling on. Let me know down below what you think. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.